Hey everybody, it's Blue BA Collector here, and uh, just doing a contest response video for Blue Jacket 66. And uh, anyway, some great prizes uh, being offered by uh, Blue Jacket 66, so uh, appreciate the opportunity. Um, for me, I guess uh, two parts. Question one was uh, who was kind of your inspiration into card collecting, and uh, the second part was, uh, what are you, uh, what else do you collect besides uh, just just baseball cards? Uh, for me, um, my inspiration was kind of a two part. I would say uh, one uh, was my grandpa. He wasn't actually a collector uh, of cards or anything along that sort, but um, his passion for watching Cubs baseball and and my time being able to spend with him uh, watching baseball really. Uh, gravitated me toward toward the game and um, so when I couple that with uh, having access to uh, baseball packs um, as a kid at our local uh, grocery store um, there was a uh, an older uh, kid by the name of Ken Hogan who was uh, a big collector and um, you know he, he'd buy cases of baseball cards and he had a a place up upstairs in his dad's barber shop, uh, vast collection. And uh, anyway, then I, as I, you know, kind of worked my way beyond uh, just picking up um, some of the individual packs at the uh, local grocery store, uh, you know, talking to him about cards and uh, started to go to card shows uh, with him um, on occasion or learned of card shows and would go because of him. I would start, you know, to buy uh, cards from him, or you know, full pa full boxes of cards, and you know, just seeing his passion for it and seeing how vast his collection was, um, coupled with the love of the sport, just kind of created an opportunity for me to to take things a little bit further. Um, I can't tell you how many hours as a kid um, uh, that I spent hand collating, going through cards, opening them, organizing them, reorganizing them, <laughs> putting them in boxes, taking out of boxes. Um, and it was really probably one of the best babysitters for me, um, teaching me the ability to sit still, be patient, um, you know, frankly, you know, a, a work ethic of, you know, it's not gonna get done unless I sit there and actually go and, uh, and take care of it. In the meantime, it didn't feel like any of that because I was just having fun looking at all these cars and players that I got to watch on TV, um, hear my grandpa talk about and all that. So uh, that's kind of where my inspiration from card collecting uh, started. Um, and then the other part is uh, other things that I collect. Um, I actually just uh, did a, uh, oops, sorry, a, a part a video um, about about that, I think in uh, G's, uh, G's Mikey's uh uh, response video but um, Smurfs is probably the the biggest uh, or most unusual thing for me that uh, that I collect outside of the hobby that's uh, of anything majorly substantive and um, uh, Schleich uh, is a company that produces PVC there's lots of companies that make or market Smurf items but for me my dominant area of Smurf collecting is in, is in the uh, Schleich PVC um, space uh, both Smurfs and Super Smurfs. I do have some buildings, um, mushroom uh, houses. They have, you know, all kinds of different variations of those. Gargamel's Castle, there's a windmill. Uh, so they make a, a fair variety of those sets. And I, I do have some of those, but I'm actually going to be moving those. Um, again, as my long-term um, uh, collection goals is more in the space of more quality than quantity. And... Um, so far, my collection has been more more quantity than than quality, um, and I'm working to uh, to change that. Um, so, anyway, this is my response video. Thank you so much, Blue Jacket sixty six. Appreciate the opportunity. Uh, have a great day. God bless.